What up everyone, welcome to David's Kitchen, and today I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing tuna salad. Let's do it! Okay, the first thing you're going to need are ingredients. And those ingredients are going to be... 5 ounces of canned tuna fish, mayonnaise, onion, salt, pepper, parsley flakes, garlic powder, dill weed, parmesan cheese, the fake stuff, some dill pickles, and some cheese. And I'm going to be using one ounce of cheddar cheese. You're going to need a bowl to mix it all in, as well as a cutting board and knife. And of course, to open up the can of tuna fish, you will need a can opener and a strainer. Okay, now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna strain that tuna fish. Get the can opener, get the tuna fish, let's do it. Now I'm gonna go and strain in the sink. Strain away. Every last drop. There we go. Want your tuna fish to be nice and dry. Alright. Come back. You're all set with this tuna fish. I don't need this can opener anymore. So, now what we want to do is we're going to get a spoon and scoop all this tuna fish into the bowl. Now that that's all taken care of, let's cut up some onion. One quarter cup of onion. You just want to cut up this onion real fine. Probably dice it a little bit, if you can. Dice up real fine for you. And then we're just going to add it right into our bowl, just like all the other ingredients. There we go. Now what you want to do is going to put one teaspoon of dry parsley flakes or one tablespoon of regular parsley. Okay, dry parsley is set, same thing with garlic powder, you're going to want to put one tablespoon of garlic powder, take the lid off, okay put the lid back on that, and the same thing with dill weed, one teaspoon of dill weed. You're going to want to put a little bit of salt, about one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and one eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. Parmesan Romano, how much do you like cheese? If you like it, pour it in. Guess what? I like a lot. Of course, not much left in here. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is put that aside. I'm gonna take out some pickles. This is where the, the recipe is going to shine because when you have pickles, it really brings out the flavor. So what you're gonna wanna do is just take out as many pickle slices as you want. And then we're just going to cut it up into tiny little dice sized pieces. Now 
And then let's add it to our ingredients. And now for the mayonnaise. Now, traditionally you want to put about a half a cup in, but if you don't like mayonnaise, you might want to put less. If you like mayonnaise, put more. I like a lot of mayonnaise. So let's really pour it on here because we've got a lot of ingredients in there and I want to make sure that it is going to be nice and moist. So right before I do that, I almost forgot the cheese. Can't have tuna fish without cheese. I'm going to make myself a nice little one ounce. I'm going to cut up one ounce of cheese. Now you want to pretty much just slice this up. Now you pretty much all you want to do is get this nice and diced up. Of course it's not going to be perfectly diced. But it's going to be good enough that when you have a bite you're going to know about. So now let's put this in with the ingredients. Now all we have to do is mix it up. Let it set for a little bit so all the flavors can merge together. Now some people like to add a little lemon juice to it. I don't have any lemon juice right now, but here's a little, little secret. You might be able to put a little red cider vinegar in, which I so happen to have a little bit of. So let's put in some red cider vinegar. I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons, uh, two teaspoons, excuse me. Two teaspoons of red cider vinegar. That'll give a little moisture to my food. And of course, as you're mixing, you wanna taste to make sure to check to see if it needs any salt, pepper, or anything else. Needs more pickle. So I'm just gonna add a little juice. Just a little bit. More moisture to my salad. There we go. Looking good. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit so all these flavors can marry each other. Good. Well, there you go, folks. That's my version of tuna fish salad. It goes great with crackers, some toasted bread, or as I like to have it, with some lettuce. You take a little bit of romaine lettuce, you put some tuna fish salad right on it, and instead of having bread, you eat it this way. Mmm, low carb too. Woo. All right, thanks so much for coming to my channel. I'll see you next time. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Bye.